Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve. In today's video, I have the DOS Soundbox Pro speakers. Now, the cool thing about these speakers is that you can pair them together to create this ultimate stereo sound. So sit back and relax, and let me tell you all about them. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and feel free to subscribe and go ahead and hit that bell if you don't mind. So let's go and get into the product. When I first received a speaker, I didn't really know what to think. I mean, it seems like a high quality speaker at a reasonable price. These only come in about $50 and that's a pretty good deal considering a speaker like the Sony XB20 is $100 as well as the JBL Flip 4 is $89. So here's some of the highlights of the speaker. The Soundbox Pro actually is powered with 20 watts of power, which is really a lot considering that most speakers I review only has about five or 10. On the front of it, you're gonna find two woofers and a passive radius to create this extra bass response. And there's a button right here on top, so you can actually trigger that, very easy. The construction on it is very premium. You have this nice little construction on the side, and it also has these rubber grips, so it keeps it protected if it falls. It's not submergible in water, but it is IPX5 compatible for splash resistance. Now, when you first get the unit, you get an instruction manual, and this is gonna show you how to pair the speakers together if you decide to buy two. And it also comes with a micro USB power cable and a 3.5 millimeter input jack in case you don't want to use the Bluetooth. Now that I showed you a little bit about the speaker, let's take a closer look at some of the inputs and also the controls. The first button on the speaker is the power button. If you press and hold it down, it'll turn it on. Now these indicators have multiple colors. If it's flashing rapidly, then it means it's in pairing mode for Bluetooth. Solid is paired with a Bluetooth device. Solid red means it's in audio mode. Solid green is in micro SD mode. And when there's no lights, it's actually turned off. The second button you have is your extra bass speaker. By pressing that, it amplifies the bass frequencies to give you this full response of sound. If you like a lot of bass, you're definitely gonna be using this button right here. On this side is where you can add another speaker to it, which I'll show you later in the video. Your volume up and down, and if you press and hold them down, you can change tracks. In the center, you have your play pause button. On the back side of the speaker, you have your micro USB input, as well as a reset button by sticking a pin inside of there, your auxiliary input, as well as a car slot so you can play your music off a micro USB card, which looks like this. When it comes to pairing your phone to it, it's very easy. Let me show you how to do it. Just power it up by holding down the power button until you hear a sound. Once you see Soundbox on your phone, go ahead and press it. And now it's connected. So let me tell you a little bit more about the Soundbox Pro. First of all, it supports Bluetooth 4.2 and that's gonna allow you to get up to 66 feet away from your source, which is a pretty good range. Additional to that, it actually gonna take three and a half to four hours to charge it. And out of that, you're gonna get up to 20 hours of use. Now let me show you how to use some of the controls on it when you plan music. Here's an example with Spotify. If you press and hold down the plus button, you can change tracks. If you press hold down the button again, you can go backwards. You can also play and pause, and you can do the volume just by tapping it up and down. The speaker also has a microphone behind the grill, so you can answer phone calls from it and also stop phone calls just by pressing the play button on top. With the speaker connected to my phone, now I'm gonna show you how to add the additional speaker if you buy two, and then we're gonna to listen to some music. The first thing you do is turn on your main speaker that you paired. Next, go ahead and press the add button on top. You'll see two indicators going back and forth to let you know it's ready for the second speaker. Now turn on your second speaker. and then press add one more time. Now they're connected. The way to tell which speaker is the main unit is that you're gonna have this indicator on the right hand side on one speaker and on the left hand side on the other speaker. Another thing that I wanna point out before we listen to the music is that the mode button on top triggers the different color lights by pressing and holding it down. It will support up to six different colors and it'll flash to the beat of your music. 
Wow, these speakers sound fantastic. Now I know I played two in the video, but keep in mind that a microphone on a camera is only going to pick up so much information. The reason I showed you both speakers working together is show you how the lights synchronize with each other and how they play off each other to give you that stereo sound. Now the way to look at it is that if you was to spend $100 on a Bluetooth speaker like a Sony or the JBL I showed earlier, you only get one speaker. So here, for the same price, you can have two of them and create that stereo effect. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.